welcome to our pharma topics channel our topic of our discussion is alpha adrenergic blockers so one is a non selective alpha blockers they block both alpha 1 and alpha 2 alpha 1 is present in the blood vessels that decrease causes vasodilation and decreases bp now it causes a reflex tachycardia that is increasing the heart rate whereas alpha 2 when it is blocked it increases the noradrenaline release heart rate and cardiac output is increased put together it decreases bp but heart rate is significantly increased leading to tachycardia whereas alpha 1 selective blockers they cause vasodilation alpha 2 is not blocked so the cause uh, reduction in bp and mild tachycardia non selective alpha blockers phenoxybenzabine is it is a irre irreversible antagonist of alpha 1 and alpha 2 whereas pentolamine and tolazolin are reversible blockers of alpha 1 and alpha 2 uh, phenoxybenzamine is used to prevent hypertensive episodes uh, during operative manipulation of a tumor in uh, pheochromocytoma pentolamine and tolazolin are preferred agents for treatment of hypertensive crises in clonidine withdrawal and cheese reaction alpha 1 selective blockers all these drugs are uh they are a is at o s i n that is prazosin tarazosin doxazosin and alfazosin decrease uh, blood pressure with uh, lesser tachycardia the selective alpha 1 blockers have favorable effect on the lipid profile when it is opposite to that of beta blockers non selective beta blockers due to relaxation of a smooth muscle in the neck of the urinary bladder prostatic urethra it is the drug of choice for patients with hypertension and benign prostatic uh, hyperplasia alpha receptors uh, play a role in uh, heart failure so blockade of uh, the alpha blockers is useful in heart failure alpha blockers play a vital role in uh, pulmonary edema uh, which occurs uh, due to scorpion sting sting alpha blockers are useful in such conditions indoramine and urapidil are new alpha 1 uh, selective blockers occasionally used for hypertensive emergencies let us see the adverse effects of alpha blockers uh, orthostatic uh, hypotension tachycardia dizziness and inhibition of ejaculation which leads to sexual problems let us see about alpha 1a selective blockers alpha 1a is uh, present and 1d is uh, present in prostate tamsulosin selectively blocks alpha 1a and 1d in the prostate uh, decreases the resistance to urinary flow and relieves the symptoms of uh, benign prostate hyperplasia alpha 1 b receptors are present in the blood vessels which are not affected by these drugs so these drugs have no role in uh, treatment of hypertension another drug belonging to this category is celadosin adverse effects are ifis that is intraoperative floppy iris syndrome occurring during cataract surgery i hope uh, it's a short information of uh, the alpha blockers which could be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends kindly subscribe to our pharma topics channel for further updates if you like this video kindly press the like button and encourage us thank you